Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, as introduced, I am Vice Minister of Strategy and Finance. Uh, first of all, I'd like to extend my deep gratitude to uh, Dr. Jung Kyung Kim, President of Korea Development Institute, and his dedicated staff and officials from my ministry who have organized this timely and meaningful event. I would also like to warmly welcome all of you, uh, particularly uh, distinguished experts and business represent representatives uh, working for the sharing economy, uh, both at home and abroad, who have taken out of uh, who have taken time out of their busy schedule uh, to attend this forum. Uh, this year marks the sixth International Forum on Service Sector Advancement. This forum is a meaningful venue where experts and officials uh, find out the global trend of the service industry and share experiences of advanced economies and valuable opinions of leading experts in the industry. At the same time, this forum serves as a compass that presents the direction for the Korean service industry. And this year, I'd like to have an in-depth discussion on the topic of sharing economy, uh, which is rapidly emerging as a new service industry. A world-renowned futurist, Professor Jeremy Lipkin, uh, predicted in his book, Age of Access, that the emerging Internet of Things would lead to a zero marginal cost society, speeding us to an era of the sharing economy. And his prediction is coming true. Uber was already valued greater than hers within five years of establishment, and Airbnb is about to overtake Hilton in terms of company value. Reflecting the changing trends, Countries across the world, led mainly by uh, advanced economies, are preparing to embrace the sharing economy. The US and the UK governments are revising the existing laws and developing a range of policies to foster the sharing economy as a viable service industry. In Korea, although the sharing economy is at an early stage of development, based on world-leading IT technologies and mobile communications infrastructure, we are seeing the sharing economy rapidly growing, especially in the car sharing and the accommodation sharing industries. At the same time, companies involved in the sharing economy are sprouting in space sharing, talent sharing, and the financial sector. However, in order to ensure that the sharing economy takes firm root, there are challenges to overcome. The existing businesses are now in conflict with the new service providers, and laws and institutions are told to be inadequate. For example, UberX were ordered to suspend their businesses in many European and Asian countries, including Korea. This example tells us that as fast as the sharing economy grows, it is also suffering from the growing pains. However, development of a science and technology and emergence of a new economic system are an inevitable trend of the times. The sharing economy is in line with this trend. It is expected to rapidly grow as the mobile communications technology continue to develop and it has an interesting plentiful potential that would bring us better lives. To see the potential fully realized, we need to find new and creative pathways to tomorrow so as to make sure that the sharing economy overcomes the growing pains and eventually serve as a new business model. I believe this is a winning strategy to adapt to new technological changes and a way to help us play as the first mover in the era of implicit competition. Against this backdrop,
the Korean government will seek ways to make sure that the sharing economy grows in harmony with the existing economic system. Distinguished guest, Charles Stein, once said, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. The biggest difficulty in making a change is not to come up with just a new idea, but to think of out of the box and implement it on the ground. I am convinced that uh, prominent experts and practitioners attending today's forum would produce insightful and actionable policy ideas. And the ideas would contribute to breaking the outdated regulatory framework and to fostering the sharing economy as a new growth source. Before concluding my congratulatory remarks, I'd like to ask you to share, as in the genuine sense of sharing economy, your experiences and views of the sharing economy. Once again, thank all of you for participating in this forum today.